And since the beginning of hurricane season, we've been bringing you these hurricane fast facts every week and new at 530. Meteorologist Hunter Forst has details on how winds are measured. To get the maximum sustained winds, the National Hurricane Center measures wind 10 meters or 33 feet off the ground, and it's averaged over one minute. Different sensors and techniques are used depending on where the measurement is being taken. For instance, tropical storms and hurricanes that are far out to sea are primarily monitored by satellites. Sensors on the satellites and analysis of images can produce some pretty accurate estimates of the wind speed and central pressure of the storms. As it moves closer and becomes a threat to land, vital and more precise data is gathered by the hurricane hunters. The planes release instruments called drop sons to measure the winds as they fall to the ocean. The hurricane hunters are also equipped with stepped frequency microwave radio meters that measure surface winds by looking for radiation off the ocean surface. When the storm gets close to land, ground-based NextRad Doppler radars give us close-up and complete view of the wind field. Here's something to consider. The maximum sustained winds are the strongest winds found anywhere in the storm, and the winds are usually a little stronger out over the water, where they're free from things like trees and buildings, which can slow it down. Just because reporting stations or buoys aren't showing the highest winds doesn't mean they aren't happening. As we continue through hurricane season, it's important to be prepared. Just scan the QR code you see here on your screen to download the 13 News Now Hurricane Guide. It's got a breakdown of everything you need to know to stay safe during a potential storm.